in an exclusive interview via Zoom meeting with Owen Horn of Africa. A Pan-African polo Imani says the only way to save Africa from Western countries' pressure and interference is through building a strong United State of Africa. You guys, from boys to girls, from educated to uneducated, from Africa, which is the motherland, to uh, diaspora, if you call them diaspora, I don't call people from diaspora because they are African who happen to be born uh, outside of Africa. We need you. You're the one who only will bring the United States of Africa to uh, accomplishment. We need you to put pressure on your leaders. We need you to act and to protect uh, this Africa. Building a military base in African countries are not simply to assist the security situations in the continent, but also to recolonize and conquer Africa from African sea state. These people, they are bringing their military power in Africa, not because they, they want to help Africa, but they are getting ready to recolonize and to conquer and to take over Africa. And, and uh, you know, it, it may be, sounds like it's very crazy, but it is possible. If you look at what they did to American Indian, uh, whole U.S., for instance, to say it was full of American Indian, and now uh, American Indian who left, they are in concentration camps. So this is what is going to happen to us if we don't unite. Paul also said that there is no single country in Africa which is in peace, where there is non-African forces in the name of peacekeeping. Adding that there may be hidden contract among the TPLF, Egypt, Sudan and Western countries for their continuous support they are currently offering for the TPLF. Uh, what is the contract between TPLF and Egypt, Sudan and Western countries? What did TPLF promise them to the point that they are helping them. I think that's the question that all social media should be discussing. We need to know, even if you are, uh, you are a TPLF supporter, you need to ask your TPL people, where is the promise that TPLF has made to the Western countries and maybe and, and there is other ones, I don't know, uh, and the promise that it has made to Egypt and the Sudan to the point that they are receiving support from them. That is the question I want you to, each one of Ethiopians, African and uh, Tigray people as well, and the TPL support, they need to ask that question. We need to be sure we understand which one was the promise because in the Western, there is no free lunch. Paul also hypothesized that the war in Ethiopia is based on the Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam Gert. The war that currently Ethiopia is fighting is completely the battle of Africa. He emphasized and called on the African sisters and brothers to stand by the side of Ethiopia through joining their hands.